Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Charlie. Today, I'm going to be showing y'all how to make my homemade New Orleans Creole Jambalaya Pasta seafood version. Now, Jambalaya is a stew that originated in Louisiana. It has influences like from West Africa, um, French, and Spanish. It has their influences as well. It consists of any type of vegetables, meat, or seafood mixed with rice, in this case, it's pasta. Now the rice and the pasta is the thickener for the jambalaya as opposed to a roux which is made of flour and oil that we use to make gumbo with. Okay now how do we create this dish? There's a lot of preparation involved that's for sure. We start, we start by sauteing all of our seasonings like our onion, green onion, celery, bell pepper, and garlic then we saute our meat like our uh, tasso pork, d and smoked sausage, and andouille smoked sausage. Next, we add our tomato paste, and we add herbs like fresh thyme and bay leaves, and my favorite blend of New Orleans seasonings. Now the thing about the jambalaya is that we're pretty much building on flavors here. Once done, we add our shrimp and our pasta, which we're using for teeny pasta, followed by our shrimp stock. We cover that lid to our saucepan, our pot, and we just let it cook down until that pasta is done. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Jambalaya pasta. Now, this recipe serves between six to eight people. Even though jambalaya is a lot of hard work, a lot of preparation involved, but it's well worth it. And guess what? It is absolutely delicious. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, here's all what you'll need to make your New Orleans jambalaya pasta. Let's get started with our ingredients. You will need some rotini pasta. You can also use penne pasta as well. Do not use spaghetti or elbow macaroni, okay? And along with that, you're going to need one to two pounds of fresh Louisiana shrimp some tasso pork. If you're not a pork eater, you can use tasso turkey. We have a version of that as well. You will also need one pound of smoked sausage. Now for me, I'm gonna be using half of the D&D and half of the andouille smoked sausage. If you're not a pork eater, you can use beef, chicken, or turkey smoked sausage, all right? You will also need some unsalted butter and one six ounce can of Hunt's tomato paste, no salt added. Because we're adding the additional seasonings to the recipe, we don't want to add salt on top of salt. All right. Now for our seasonings, I do believe that adding a variety of different seasonings to a recipe not only builds on flavors to the addition to the other ingredients being added, but it also gives the dish its distinctive flavor. So with that being said, you will need one yellow onion, some green onion, celery, one green bell pepper, one red bell pepper, some garlic, some fresh parsley, some fresh thyme, and some fresh bay leaves. For your additional seasonings, you will need some salt, Tony Sacheray's Creole seasoning. Now, if you don't have this, you can use the Zatarain's Creole seasoning or the Slapping Mama Cajun seasoning. You will also need some Chef Paul Perdon's Poetry and Seafood Magic. Now, if you don't have this, you can just use the Tony Sachery's Creel seasoning and you'll be good to go. I have the link to where you can purchase these seasonings in the description box. And along with that, you're going to need some onion powder, garlic powder, some paprika, cayenne pepper, and for our optional seasoning, you will need some crab ball. Now I'm going to be adding this to the recipe as well. If you don't have it, you can just use these seasonings over here and it'll work just fine and there we have it all right let's get straight to it we got a lot of work to do here we're going to get started by chopping up one yellow onion here we have a bunch of green onions we're just going to chop this up make sure you chop that up really good and you also want to chop up the ends to your green onions as well, alright? Rinse off your celery. Make sure you rinse that off good. Now you're going to chop your celery up until it's minced. 
rinse off one green bell pepper. Make sure you remove the core out of the center of your bell pepper. And we're just going to chop that up. Now you're going to rinse off one red bell pepper. Make sure you remove the core out of the center. And you're just going to chop this up. Make sure you chop that up good. Alright, here we have four cloves of garlic. We chopped it into halves, of course. And we're just going to chop that up until it is minced, alright? Now we're going to rinse off our parsley. Make sure you rinse that off really good. Now we only need a small amount of this parsley, so I'm just going to cut off a small amount of that. I'm just going to chop that up until it resembles coarse crumbs. Alright, here we have our fresh thyme. We're going to start by removing the leaves off the stem of the thyme. And that's about one tablespoon of thyme leaves I have right there. Now we're just going to chop that up until it resembles coarse crumbs. Alright, here we have our tassel pork. Remember, you could use tassel turkey as well. Now we're going to uh, take our knife and we're just going to chop this into small bite-sized cubes like how you see here. Alright. Next up, we're about to sear our smoked sausage. So we're going to preheat our fire to medium-high heat. This is another build on flavors technique. In our cast iron skillet, we're going to add two teaspoons of oil. I'm using canola oil. Now I'm going to take a pastry brush and I'm going to brush that all around the skillet. Now I'm going to let this get hot for about two minutes. Now we're going to add our D&D smoked sausage and our andouille smoked sausage. And we're going to let that sear for about four minutes on each side. Now if it's smoking, that's a good thing. It's a very good thing. All right. Now once done, you're going to turn your fire off. Now we're going to remove our sausages from the skillet. Because you can see that's nice and seared and ready to go. And we're just going to place that onto a serving dish. I'm going to let this cool for about 3 to 5 minutes. Once done, we're going to uh, cut our D&D &D smoked sausage. And we're going to cut our um, andouille smoked sausage. Do it the best way you can. Now we transferred that onto our serving dish. Now to keep it warm, we're just going to wrap that with aluminum foil. Now let's get started with our shrimp. Alright, here we have one shrimp. We're going to take the head of the shrimp and we're going to move that off the tail. And we're going to place that in the one bowl. Now we're going to remove the shrimp shell off of the shrimp tail. You're going to place that shrimp shell into the bowl with the shrimp heads. And you're going to take the tail and you're going to place that in a separate bowl. Here we have the um, shrimp's digestive tract. We're going to take a knife and we're just going to cut out the back of the shrimp. And do it very gently. I'm going to open that up. And as you can see, there's that black string. The only thing you got to do is just pull that out. And there you go. Simple. Now once done, you're going to take your shrimp tails and add that into a strainer. And you're going to rinse your shrimp tails off with cold water. Now once done, you're going to... Take your shrimp tails, place them into a bowl, cover it with a lid, and place it into your refrigerator, all right? Now, let's make this shrimp stock. We're going to preheat our fire to medium-high heat. In a medium-sized pot, we're going to add two quarts of water. Now, let's add a little bit of seasoning. We're going to add a half a teaspoon of crab ball. Now, remember, that's the option. If you don't. All right, and to that, we're going to add a half a teaspoon of Tony Sacheray's Creole Seasoning. A half a teaspoon of Chef Paul Padam Seafood Magic. Two teaspoons of onion powder. And two teaspoons of garlic powder. If y'all don't know by now, I don't measure when I add my seasonings. Now, I'm going to go ahead and give this a quick stir. Now, we're going to let this come to a simmer. Our mixture is at a simmer now. Here we have our shrimp heads and shells. And we're just going to add that into the uh, simmering water. Now we're going to give this a quick stir. Now we're going to let this saute. Well, I say saute. We're going to let this simmer for about 30 to 40 minutes. All right, it's been about 30 to 40 minutes now, and our shrimp stock is done. As you can see, that cooked down a little bit. Now we're going to turn our fire off. Now once it's done, we're going to add our shrimp stock into a mesh strainer with a medium-sized bowl underneath it. 
Now as for those shrimp heads and shells, once you're done with those, you could discard that, alright? Just shake your mesh strain or whatever to make sure those juices have drained into the uh, bowl. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Homemade shrimp stock made from scratch. Doesn't get any better than this. Now let's get started with this jambalaya pasta. We're going to preheat our fire to medium-high heat. Alright, in a large saucepan, we're going to add 6 tablespoons of unsalted butter. We're going to spread that butter along our saucepan. Just spread it around there and let it melt. Now for my favorite part, let's add some seasonings. We're going to add 1 cup of chopped yellow onion. And to that, we're going to add 2 third cup of chopped green onion. 2 third cup of chopped celery. 2 third cup of chopped green bell pepper. 2 third cup of chopped red bell pepper and one tablespoon of chopped garlic I'm gonna take my spoon and just gonna uh, give this a quick stir now I like a lot of these vegetable seasonings in my dishes you know now we're gonna cover this with a lid we're gonna let this saute for about 12 minutes stirring occasionally alright it's been about 12 minutes now I'm gonna give this a quick stir and as you can see our seasonings have cooked down some that's exactly what we want uh, we're not done adding the seasonings yet, so make sure you have your chopped onion and all that reserved on the side, alright? Now next up, we're going to add our uh, chopped tasso pork. And to that, we're going to add our um, sliced andouille and D&D smoked sausages. Now we're going to give this a quick stir. It's looking pretty good so far. Now I'm going to go ahead and shake my saucepan to make sure all those ingredients are even and balanced in there. Now I'm going to cover this with a lid. And I'm going to let this saute for 5 minutes stirring occasionally. Alright, it's been about 5 minutes now. I'm going to give this a quick stir. Ooh boy, that smells good from all the flavors, from all the seasonings, the tasso pork, and those smoked sausages. Mm -hmm. Now at this time, we're going to add 1 fourth cup of our Hunt's tomato paste, no salt added. Now let's add some seasonings. We're going to add 1 8 teaspoon of salt, 1 and 1 half teaspoons of Tony Sacheray's Creole seasoning, 1 teaspoon of Chef Paul Poudon's Porchy Magic, 1 teaspoon of Chef Paul Poudon's Seafood Magic, 2 teaspoons of onion powder, 2 teaspoons of garlic powder, 1 teaspoon of paprika, a half a teaspoon of crab ball. Now if you don't have that, you could use the cayenne pepper. You'll substitute that. Just add a teaspoon of cayenne pepper to that. Now next we're going to add one tablespoon of our fresh parsley. One teaspoon of fresh thyme. And four bay leaves. I'm going to take my spoon and I'm just going to stir all ingredients together until combined. Now we got to add some more seasoning, so let's get started with that. We're going to add 2 3rd cup of chopped yellow onion, 1 4th cup of chopped green onion, 1 4th cup of chopped celery, 1 4th cup of chopped green bell pepper, 1 4th cup of chopped red bell pepper, and 1 tablespoon of chopped garlic. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my spoon and stir all the ingredients together. Now we got kind of a trifecta of seasonings going on here. In addition to that, we have our flavors from our meat and our seafood going in there. It's all about building flavors. Now we're going to go ahead and add our shrimp. Let's add that all in there all at once. Now I'm going to take my spoon and give this a quick stir. Now I forgot to mention you could taste the jambalaya to see if it's at your desired taste. If not, you could add more seasoning. Now at this time, you're going to add... 8 to 9 ounces, that's about 2 and 1 half to 3 cups of rotini pasta. I'm just going to uh, carefully stir that in. Alright, it's looking pretty good. Now we're going to add 4 and 1 half cups of shrimp stock. Now if you don't have this exact amount, you could just add some additional water to it. It won't affect the flavor or anything like that. Alright, I'm going to just take my spoon and I'm just going to stir all the ingredients together until combined. Make sure you stir it really good. 
get at the bottom of the saucepan and everything all right now we're going to cover this we're going to let this simmer for 12 minutes stirring occasionally all right y'all it's been about 12 minutes now and our New Orleans Creole Jambalaya pasta is now done now if your pasta is not all the way cooked add about one cup of water in there give it a quick stir cover it with a lid and let it cook until that pasta is cooked all right now once done you're going to turn your fire off now for some additional tips you can remove the bay leaves also your mixture will thicken dramatically to thin it out you can add additional stock or water it won't affect the flavor or anything like that and lastly the flavors will settle and increase overnight here is the final presentation. And there you have it. New Orleans Creole Jambalaya Pasta. Made from scratch by a New Orleans native. If you like my channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell button if you want to be notified of my videos. You can also check out this recipe as well as all of my other recipes. Visit www.charlotecookandrews.com You can also find me on Facebook and on Instagram under the name Charlie the Cook Andrews. Stay tuned as Charlie's Taste Test is coming up next. Can't wait. Ah, now it's time to go ahead and take a bite. Man, look at this. All of this goodness. Look at that. Oh. I'll tell y'all no lie, man. You have the flavors from all the meat, the seafood, the seasonings. Then we add we have the additional seasonings. I mean, like I said in the beginning, jambalaya is all about building on flavors. And when I tell you you have the flavor of everything, and especially if it's made from scratch and you put it into one dish the flavor the final result even though it's a lot of work the final result the flavor is absolutely amazing and the thing about it is is that it tastes even better the very next day i mean this is really really good mm. Mm -hmm. ain't nothing like new orleans food and it's that's good anyways give the recipe a try I hope you all enjoyed the video, and until next time, have a good one. Peace. Oh man. I don't know what to say, but man, this is, this is extraordinarily good. Uh -huh.